with the U.S. House District 1 Republican race. According to the Associated Press, Nancy Mace is the projected winner, defeating Catherine Templeton and Bill Young. WJCL 22 News' Tia Maggio is live in Charleston, where Republican incumbent Nancy Mace celebrated her win. And Tia, you attended Mace's election night watch party. That's right, Shannon. Just hours ago, Nancy May celebrated her win as the Republican primary winner in South Carolina's first congressional district. She actually held an outdoor watch party here in Charleston from 7 to 10 with her supporters. Now, she'll, this means that she'll be facing off against the primary Democratic primary winner, Michael B. Moore, in the general election this November, which Mace had plenty to say about her Democratic opponent. Well, look, it sounds like Democrats uh, nominated Bernie bro. So I look forward to educating low country voters in South Carolina about what socialism is because that's what my opponent is going to represent. Mace also says this is the largest margin she's ever won in an election. I did try to reach out to Catherine Templeton's office for a comment, but I haven't heard anything back. Reporting live in Charleston, Tia Maggio, WJCL 22 News. All right, Tia, thanks so much for that live report tonight. Now to the Democratic candidates running for U.S. House District 1. Michael Moore is a projected winner. That's according to the Associated Press, defeating his opponent, Mac DeFord. WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson is live tonight in Charleston at Michael Moore's viewing party. AJ, tell us about the atmosphere when that party was starting. Well, Greg, I'll tell you what, it was all smiles. It was all fun in there. This is the ILA in downtown Charleston, where you said Michael B. Moore had his viewing party with all of his staff, and it was just really energetic in there following the AP's call of the race. Now, one of the staff managers said in there for his campaign that the viewing party itself had a peak of nearly 75 campaign staff, and it was callers and fundraisers who helped out throughout the entire campaign. They said it was a fun night. However, more minutes after after his primary win says there's still work to be done, but is confident against incumbent Nancy Mace. But this is a purple district. I mean, we all know, you know, Joe Cunningham was in the seat just four years ago. And, um, you know, I think what we bring is a, a unique opportunity to pull together the broadest and deepest coalition of voters, not just the various subgroups of Democrats, but also independents and moderate Republicans. Uh, you know, look, I'm a business guy, and so I think my background speaks uniquely to a lot of Republicans, a lot of those Nikki Haley Republicans who are rejecting all things MAGA and Trump and, uh, and Mace, and so, you know, we think we've got a real opportunity. Now, the November general election it will be on Tuesday, November 5th. And you can follow all election information on our website at WJCL.com. I also reached out to Mac DeFord's party for a statement following the election, but I've not heard anything back in Charleston. AJ Sisson, WJCL 22 News. In House District 1, the battle has been joined. AJ Sisson, thanks so very much.